Hello and welcome back again. We're going to do some more Mathalicious Quadratics. This time we're going to graph a quadratic function when you've been given it in a factored form. So a factored form means you've got the two parentheses where alpha and beta are the roots and this is the example we're going to use. So like we did with graphing before, we always want to know what the shape is first. So how do I recognise what the shape is? Well, I'll take the equation here and the part that dictates what the shape is are the variables that are here. So if I take these two variables here and I multiply them together, I get x squared. That obviously tells me that the value here in front of it is 1. And 1 we know is bigger than 0. So then I know I'm going to have a u-shaped parabola. Let's put shape. And so also I know it's going to be a minimum turning point. The next thing that's quite easy to find is the y-intercepts. So what's special about the y-intercepts? It's when we let x equal zero. So in fact, when you look at this, you can see these two are zero, and the only part you have to look at is the second term with the second term here. So if I take these two together, it's minus three times two, which is minus six. So I know that the y-intercept is zero minus six, so that's quite quick and easy. Um, I don't even have to think of it like this, but that's the reason. To find the x-intercepts, what's special about that? Well, it's when we let y equal 0. And if I do that again, back in this equation, I'm going to get 0 equals x minus 3, x plus 2. And from here, we can separate these. x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 3. Or x plus 2 equals 0, which makes that minus 2. So I know that the roots are at 3, 0, and the other one is at minus 2, 0. So we've got those points as well to plot. So now we're starting to build up a picture. The next thing is we would normally use minus b over 2a to find the symmetry point. But now we can actually use another property of the quadratic function, which is we know it is symmetrical. And actually these two points on the graph are a mirror image of each other. So in fact, the line of symmetry is between these two values and it's exactly in the middle. So what we can do, we know that the intercepts there are x equals 3 and x equals minus 2. So what we need is the midpoint and we've done midpoints before. And what you do to do for a midpoint is you add both the numbers together and you divide by 2. So 3 plus Minus 2 is 1, so we're going to get a half for x for the turning point. And if you know what x is, then you can work out y. So if we let x equal a half, I can use the equation we've got here to work out the y value. So it's x minus 3, I'm just checking I'm not making a copy error. Then we just have to put the numbers in, a half minus 3, a half plus 2, okay, and a half minus 3 is minus 5 over 2 times that is also 5 over 2 so you're going to get minus 25 over 4 so the minimum minimum oh gosh that doesn't look very nice minimum turning point is at a half for x and this one here. And we could put that on our graph. Okay? And then we've got all the bits we need. Now what I would do is take the points I've got, put them on the graph. This one, where we've got the y-intercept, I would then use the line of symmetry to try and reflect it and get its partner. But then if I still wanted extra points, if necessary, necessary has been rubbed off a little bit by my hand there, then what you would do is you just start picking some values of x, plot a point and of course for free uh, use symmetry to get a second point that you can get for free. Okay, And so then um, what I'm going to show you now, you need these notes down, then what I want you to do is there's some uh, scale for you. So for the graph, the x-axis, the domain goes from minus 6 to 6. Uh, we're going to say 1 centimetre with 1 unit. The y-axis, the range numbers are going from minus 8 to 8, 1 centimetre 1 unit. So you've got a graph like this make each square worth one unit, put the points on that you need, and then C. Step E, do you need to find extra points before you draw it? 
and of course draw it with a smooth curve, a U-shaped, as you have been doing before.